Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. I'm going to jump right into this. You know who I am. Kenny McFall, KJ, Jazz313. But today we're going to talk about that Florida curriculum. That Florida curriculum, which was atrocious. I want to just right now say Rob DeSantis and the Florida Department of Education should be ashamed of themselves. Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSantis. DeSantis mean devil, evil, slick, ass, nasty, trick, idiot, and Satan. For him to deny, and he's Italian. I played basketball in Italian. And you know what the Moors have done. You know the true history of our people. But this is not about who's right, who's wrong. And some of those bourgeois, boule black people who are on that committee, and you saw this being passed through the committee, and you didn't say nothing, you want to keep your job and smile and cheese, you have some blood on your hand. Another generation of our kids will be misled by a bunch of lies. And the reason I want to talk about this in America and the curriculum. Parents, I keep telling you, the Jewish people, they are smart. They don't put their kids for the majority in these public schools. They had a yeshiva schools teaching Jewish history. The Islamic people have their Islamic schools teaching Islamic history. Your Lutheran schools have their Lutheran ideologies, pedagogies, as well as your Catholic. We are the only one who are controlled and I know it would be crazy for me to say, take your kids out of public schools, but you are the teacher. I know most of us don't read. That is why I do this here. That's why I'm passionate about passing this legacy of history. How do we go from building the pyramids, the Sphinx, King Tut, or designing Washington, D.C., Benjamin Banneker, who was the first one to get up to the North Pole. Why don't we talk about that? But I, I just want to just talk about this Florida. Here's what killed me when they said we gained some good skills in slavery. That is something that our kids from K through 12 have to, uh, have to uh, learn. But you remember the Jubilee in the Bible after 50 years, all deaths, after seven years, I know black people sold, uh, sold us to the Europeans, but I know for a fact those guys understood the seven-year release program, but they kept us in bondage to tell a group of people that we enjoy slavery. That's a slap in the face of Gabriel Prosser, to Nat Turner, to Denmark Vesey, to Harriet Tubman. For 300 years of hell, I cannot imagine anyone ever said even the stupidest saying that slavery was a happy time when somebody woke you seven days a week from sun up to sun just can't sleep uh, ugly truths ugly truth I implore every parent especially if you live in Florida to go read that curriculum and curriculum is another word of said indoctrination of our kids. They are indoctrinating our kids with a bunch of films and lies. And we as guardians of minds until they get 18, that's our job to protest at the local school board, to do whatever you have to do to eradicate that. I don't advocate any violence. I advocate truth. Truth will win in the end like love. Uh, when you think about Alfred Noble, he used his wicked brain power to create gunpowder. I know the movie Oppenheimer is out, how they took a bomb. They, they minds work different than our minds. You have to look at Stalin, look at Leopold, look at Eisenhower. They get off on blood. Some factions of this society. But with Ron DeSantis, as well as the Florida Board of Education, the Ochi Massacre in 1920. They said black people started it. The Tulsa, Oklahoma Massacre in the early 1900s, they said we started. The movie Rosewood, the rebellions in Detroit, the rebellions in Newark, the rebellions in LA, they say we started. 
It's a powder keg. Remember, as I always say, we're going to focus on this Florida Department of Education. There's a couple things. Uh, you know, they said we were happy. We developed useful skills. That's a psychological torment. When you look at We Created Jazz, this is Jazz 313, and we had all these skills before we came. Who you think built this? I'm going to have this in the description, but please write this down. I'll give you five seconds. I'm going to count to get a pencil. You got to write this down. It is the curriculum number, Social Studies 912-AA-8. Social Studies 912-AA.8. For those of you who have never went to school, teachers know this right here. All teachers are guided by a curriculum, a pacing guide in every state. It comes down from the state, Department of Education, United States, but we are just sheep leading our kids to a slaughter, an intellectual slaughter. See, I don't have to put chains on you anymore if I can chain your mind to make you think. It's the Matthew Hensons of the world that we need to share. Uh, and I'm not saying we have a monopoly, and I'm not saying we have not slain people, but we're talking about Florida, 2023, in America. We have to have inclusive education. You know, when they talk about, uh, we was cobblers, which are shoemakers. I can remember Economy Shoe Shop out of Southwest Detroit, where he fixed shoes and made shoes. Uh, we was healers. We was tailors. We was... Uh, Doctors, midwives, you know, in Jamaica, they still have babies up in the villages with a midwife, with a nursing wife. So, you, you know, we need to talk about our history. But in America, in Florida, for those of us who are sitting in these seats, and why am I qualified to speak? Just for those who don't know me, I have a master's in education, a focus on science curriculum. Uh, I was a science teacher, I was a high school principal. Travel to see a whole lot, but I'm, I'm talking to you with the psychological effects. Why are these young men killing each other? Because when they go to school, that's all you see, they were slaves, and then they say they was happy slaves. So you kill the zeal, you kill the desire. Because when you don't see yourself, it's hard to emulate yourself. I can only be what I see. Those educators, those parents, you need to speak truth to these Board of Educations. Uh, Ron DeSantis and his crew, they did whatever they did. I don't know what their intentions were, whether it's political, was it to create. Uh, I mean, I can't believe I'm giving this guy some of my time when I should be talking about jazz. But I am an educator at, at heart. That is my core. You know, examine the consequences of the slave trade. What that did to us for 300 years, we had no rights, no privileges. Then you reverse what they just did, affirmative action, Jim Crow. I'm not a victim. I, I, don't, I don't adhere to the victimization of, I'm a uh, millionaire, I'm, I'm good. But I, from the projects, I, all the traps that we came through, a lot of us don't know nothing. It's like, when you see your mama having three baby daddies or you having three baby mamas like myself, I mean, it's just some chaos. What is chaos is no order. What is no order? Because of the school system, because of the families are ignorant. If mama is dumb, how can she teach the baby? It's like the blind leading the blind. If daddy is nowhere around, how can he teach a son how to be a man? When you see 13-year-old boys shoot people and robbing people, where's the parent? Not, not being judgmental. Please forgive me if I sound judgmental. Please forgive me, I'm not. But it starts at the school where you learn that you're nothing but an animal. It starts at the teachers who really don't believe in you, and then they get a curriculum where they can continue to perpetuate lies. You know, it's called the four C's. You know, the causes, the course, the consequences, and the colonialized mind. The colonialized mind, whether you are in Africa, whether you're in Haiti, whether you are in Senegal, whether you are in the United States. But what they did in Florida are going to set us back way worse than Willie Lynch. Ron DeSantis, the Florida Department of Education, and any black person who was on that committee, as Dr. Umar Johnson said, I'm giving you a thousand lashes. A thousand. When you know 
You just sitting up there smiling like a little Geechee trying to get your money, and you know you're failing these kids. That is why it's very important to take these kids to Egypt. Take them to a Cranberry Museum. Let them see the Egyptians. Let them see the Asantes. Let them see the Zulus. It starts at home. You got to turn that TV off and quit going to the casino and teach your kid. You cannot leave it up to the school system. Some of you are black there and the schools are babysitters for you because you put yourself in a position or the system put you in a position. But I really don't even want to get a system. It's time for us to lift our behinds up intellectually. You know, we, we're master basketball, we're master track, we're master boxing, we're master twerking. Now master your mind. And, and if I sound like I'm being, uh, I, I am angry because we're better than this. When I think about my Rainey, when I think about Dr. Charles Drew, when I think about Asa Hilliard, when I think about uh, Gordon Parks, when I think about Dr. Ben, when I think about Dick Gregory, people that I've had a chance to uh, talk to and dialogue and Arthur Schomburg to see what happened in Florida, we got to do something. And, and we can't look for this Tallahassee or Washington or Lansing or Albany, New York. You got to do it in your house. Florida, DeSantis, you guys were wrong on this one. And the universe will balance itself out with the truth eventually. But right now, while we're in this fight, parents, learn some history. You go to Google, you go to TikTok, TikTok or Google some knowledge. I'm going to leave a couple of re, uh, some information, some references in the uh, uh, description. But anyway, thank you. If you like what I'm doing, click subscribe and share. We're still growing. We're still moving uh, on our way to Newport, Rhode Island for the festival. And then we got the Detroit one. Uh, I mean, we just enjoying jazz and trying to bring you some jazz. But in the midst, I got to put the medicine and the candy because sometimes the only way I can get you. You know, this is streaming. And I love you. Again, thank you.